involute of a circle. In this video, we will discuss how to draw an involute of a circle. Before drawing, first, we will understand what the involute of a circle means. Involute is the curve traced by the endpoint of the string when it unwound itself from a circle. In other words, suppose there is a circle with a string wound on it, and the length of this string is exactly equal to its circumference. When I try to unwound this string from the circle, the path taken by the endpoint of this string, while unwounding, is called the involute of that circle. Here are the instructions to draw. Draw an involute of a circle of diameter 50 mm. Also, draw normal and tangent at a point 100 mm from the center of a circle. To draw the involute, we have to draw a circle whose diameter is 50 mm, therefore, the radius will be equal to half of 50 mm, which is 25 mm. Mark a point on the paper, and name this point as O. Take a compass, take 25 mm length from the measuring scale, and draw a circle using point O as the center. Next, we need to divide this circle into 12 divisions. Draw horizontal and vertical diameters on the circle for the reference. To draw an involute, we will divide the circle into 12 parts. The more parts we draw, the smoother will be the curve, but the time for drawing it will increase. Therefore, we divide it into only 12 parts. To get 12 equal parts, we know that the full circle has 360 degrees, therefore, we do 360 divided by 12, which gives 30 degrees. There will be 12 sectors of 30 degrees each. By using the protector, divide this circle into 12 parts, so, mark 30 degrees, next, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, like this go on increasing, by 30 degrees. Next. 120 degrees, and 150 degrees. After this, using scale and taking this point as the reference, draw the line from the circumference of the circle to the center, and extend it to the other side of the circumference of the circle. Similarly, do for all the points. Since we divided the circle into 12 parts, next, we will mark the points on the circumference of the circle, first point, second point, third, and so on, up to, the twelfth point. Mark an initial point, and name this point as, P. Extend a line horizontally from this P point, this line will be our reference line, whose length will be equal to the circumference of the circle, which will be, pi times d length. After this, we need to divide this line into twelve equal divisions, and the distance between these points should be equal to the length between points on the circumference. To do so, divide this 157 mm by 12, which will be 13 mm. Therefore mark 13 mm on this line. Next, take a compass and take this length, and cut arcs of equal lengths. Mark these points as, 1, 2, 3, and so on up to 12. Next, we need to draw perpendicular lines to each of these lines. To do so, take your mini drafter, place it like this and draw a perpendicular line at point 11. Next, draw at point 10. Similarly, draw lines at all the points up to point 1. Now we need to mark the length of the string on each of these lines. Imagine, if the string unwound from the circle and reaches this line, the end point of this line will be here. Next, when it reaches this line, the P point will be here, and so on. This will be the curve trace by this point, which we need to draw. To draw this curve, we need to get these points. Take a compass, take this length from point 1 dash to P, and using point 1 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P1. Next, take this length from point 2 dash to P, 
and using point 2 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P2. Similarly, do for getting all the distances. Take this distance between point 3 dash to P, and using point 3 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P3. Next, take this distance between point 4 dash to P, and using point 4 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P4. Next, take this distance between point 5 dash to P, and using point 5 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P5. Next, take this distance between point 6 dash to P, and using point 6 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P6. Next, take this distance between point 7 dash to P, and using point 7 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P7. Next, Take this distance between point 8 dash to P, and using point 8 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P8. Next, take this distance between point 9 dash to P, and using point 9 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P9. Next, take this distance between point 10 dash to P, and using point 10 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P10. Next. Take this distance between point 11 dash to P, and using point 11 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P11. At last, take this distance between point 12 dash to P, and using point 12 as a reference, mark an arc on this line. Name this point as P12. Since we got all the points, join these points with a smooth curve. This is our final involute of a circle. Next, we need to draw a normal and a tangent to this curve, at a point 100 millimeters from the center of this circle. Take a compass, take 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters on the compass using a scale, keep the compass in the center of the circle and cut an arc on the curve wherever it's cutting. Name this point as, M. At this point, we need to mark a normal and a tangent. Take a ruler, and draw a line joining this center point, O and M. Divide this length into two halves, we already know this length is half of 10 centimeters, which will be 5 centimeters. Mark a point at 5 centimeters. Name this point as O1. Next, take a compass, take this length between O1 and M, which is 5 centimeters. Using O1 as a center, draw an arc, from M point, up to the circumference of this circle. Name this point as N, joint this end point to M using a ruler. This line, NM, is normal to the curve. After this, draw a line perpendicular to this normal, which will be our tangent. Take a protector, keep at this point, M. Mark 90 degrees from the normal, and draw a line. This is our tangent. I hope you have understood how to draw an involute of a circle. If you like this video click on the like button. And if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button, and turn on all notifications to get all my latest videos.